Thank you, Papa Lunchbox, for that very enlightening interlude here into the part two of this show. It's time You're for welcome. the big question, of course, and uh, and also the, the, this big question that I don't know yet. I'm not even sure if LB knows it yet. But you can participate on Twitter. Uh, please follow at Mayhem Show. Use the hashtag WMSBigQuestion. And you will this week have a chance to win RWA Spring Fling 2015, which includes a fan strap match. That's right. There are, uh, I think, 10 fans who had straps at ringside and were allowed to strap the individuals in the match if they went to the floor. Are you scared? Because our cameraman was. Uh, but you'll get that free hashtag WMS big question when you answer this big question, LB. Well, Sorg, we've been talking about tough enough a lot here uh, on the show, and Eamon actually almost asked this question earlier, and I'm glad he didn't. Um, so he was talking about how uh, it, it's, you know, should be indie wrestlers, you know, people who actually have experience with the business, and um, uh, I'm not so sure. So my question this week would be, is, would you be more interested in watching Tough Enough if it was genuine amateurs, as in not indie wrestlers, or actual indie wrestlers? Whose process do you think would be more interesting? Personally, I would love to see genuine amateurs, people who are just interested and maybe have some kind of charisma and it factor, and you watch them get their asses kicked and train from the ground up. Just fucking regular folk. I think that would be very interesting. Maybe just for a season, but we're only talking about for a season. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm with you for the amateurs, because we already have NXT. That's where the people that know what they're doing come through. Right. And we've had like versions of NXT that had the reality show thing, but they were obviously wrestlers and they were already wrestling and it was just them kind of getting their characters over. Um, no, I think the I think the amateurs and like this is how tough it actually is for you who thinks you're some jackass that can do this because anybody can do this and comes in and it happens. I think that's uh, the more compelling story, especially for a reality show. Mm -hmm. so. Amen. Uh, I think that by having all amateurs, it would be more compelling from an aspect of that you have to basically show the process from the ground up of, you know, learning how to bump and then and, and the intricacies that go in with wrestling. Um, for that reason, I think that's why they tend to, to go with more amateurs because it just tells a better story for a reality show. And, and, and like you mentioned, you know, NXT is more, or the performance center, I guess, is a place where, you know, more skilled competitors um, are able to just hone their crafts a bit better. Um, not always, but most of the time. Um, I, I, I would pers personally, I would prefer, I would love to just see indie talents interact with some of the top level uh, WWE guys and see the aspect of how much of that goes into, how much of retraining goes into it and how much of, you know, is there any stubbornness that comes with it of, you know, indie wrestlers, you know, thinking they're all that or whatever, maybe would create more drama. Um, but uh, I, I can see where more amateurs come into, come into play. All right. What about you, Mike? Um, I think uh, as much as I do like, because like the first season of Tough Enough, it was mostly a bunch of amateurs that didn't know what they were doing. And that was fun to an extent. But I think to see, like if they're actually to able to take indie wrestlers, acknowledge their past histories and their experiences in pro wrestling and then like we like we always talk about the WWE style and no one really knows what that is quantifiably right but to be able to take a whole bunch of indie guys and girls and teach them the WWE style like like kind of like I believe we talked a couple weeks ago like if if there was less kayfabe if kayfabe was completely gone that's, I think, what that kind of show could be. Because you could have be like, you could tell someone like, hey, play to the camera. Or stop talking so much in the match, I can hear you. Like, stuff like that. Like, I think it could be really interesting to see people who have not been on a nationally televised program to kind of be molded to how to play to that smaller audience. 
like how, how to play to the cameras as opposed to a gym. Like I think that would just be interesting. And plus, if they have any kind of past interactions with someone like a Cesaro or a Sami Zayn or someone like that that they could interact with on the show, that makes it even better because that gets you more invested in both characters. Take it. What about you, Bobby? I have two words for you guys. A silent rage. <laughs> um, most of last season's competitors, well, the last time they did it, its competitors were amateurs. Um, there's one person left that's working in WWE right now, and that's Cameron. Um, I think it should Ugh. be indie oh, wrestlers. That makes me mad every because time. Because I think it would be more compelling. Uh, I think they they would know a little bit more of what they're doing. They could build characters off of that. Um, they probably already have a lot of personality as it is. Um, it, it's made for TV, so that's what I think. Excellent. Also joining us, uh, as with Bobby F. J. Town, uh, he is also representing InsertCoinToBegin.com. He is the Riz, and I'm going to figure out what computer he's going to be on over here. Sorry. Uh, but you're here in voice, at least. So what do you think about uh, this question? Uh, if, if this was on, like, say, the WWE Network, I would I would see them doing something with just amateur wrestling, right. uh, amateur like amateurs, just straight up. Uh, but we are forgetting that this is also the USA Network. Mm-hmm. They like ratings. That's why they play like you know, Law and Order fifty times in a row. Mm. Um, but Kong Kong. Yeah, but th- this is more like. Now, even with the uh, with the voting, the fan voting, you're gonna have to have like an American Idol type thing, and to get those eyes on there, you're not gonna have amateurs do this. You need some guys that people do know 